Okay, so for those who follow me on Twitter, you already know that um, I got my first voice acting gig. It's a tiny little thing, and it's about to debut. But uh, today I got to see the character for the first time, and it's like really happening. <laughs> I had some time this evening, so I figured, hey, why not another little Q&A? So if you want to ask a question, be my guest. Very good question. Uh, we are aiming this for a late September release. That's what we're all working towards. This is really tough. I can't decide. I'm between Rent, where I was in the ensemble, Peter Pan, where I played Slightly Soiled, which was just one of the Lost Boyos, Boyos, Boys, and um, Into the Woods, where I played Cinderella's Prince, and that's where Roman's first costume came from. Yes, I miss the purple hair, too. <laughs> yes, of course. I do love me. Roman would be reveling that we made the journey. Patton would be marveling at the memories being made. Logan would be telling you to look at these fascinating sites for important information. Virgil would be telling you to get back from those cliffs. Janice would be telling you to take pictures to make it look like you're next to the cliff for clout. And Remus would be like, you could push somebody and get away with it. You and me both, Bree. And honestly, with the amount of amazing cartoons that have come out recently, yeah, I am a hankering to get back to a meal. I feel like everybody is kind of struggling with mental health right now, especially people in the USA with COVID. Um, <clears throat> for me, I continuously struggle with the balance between work and leisure time. Um, social media makes that difficult, blurs the lines, and I'm working on it. Um, I don't. Uh, I struggle with the permanence of tattoos and like, do I, can I make a decision that I would like? But there are tattoos that I might like. Where I'd put them, I have no idea. Um, but I think maybe like little stars. What rank? Uh, general. You know, want to do my duty, come back a hero, an all-American queero. Queer comes the general! Something that Patton would say. Um, please, I request more baked goods from the kitchen so that I can fill Thomas's body with more trans fats at 3 a.m. I don't know, I don't like this game. I have. It's pretty uneventful. No. <laughs> uh, not until tomorrow. I think I answered this one on the last Q and A, but uh, it was it was early. It was like I was like nine or ten at least. Gavin has started school. He's he's back in in uh, in his hometown. So like he, I I don't know when I'm gonna see him. He's still getting taller. I can actually include a picture of him uh, that his mom sent me after he got. A new little hairdo. Um, I mean, like, for, for like, sentimental reasons, yes. Uh, I mean, technically it had its issues, and uh, I don't miss being restricted to six seconds anymore. <laughs> My favorite part of today was actually, uh, I came up with a very last minute short video. And I got it done and I sent it to some friends and they really liked it. I have to save it until Thursday though, but it's just nice to come up with stuff that makes your friends laugh. Remus here! Looks like the dookie just dropped in! <laughs> I spend a lot of time with him, so I've had a lot of practice. When is Virgil not being angsty? Uh, heck yeah, trans rights. I, uh, there was, this one was very simple, but I wanted to say it. Actually, if uh, you remember from uh, Accepting Anxiety uh, Part 2, uh, there's actually a Death Note poster in his room, so he definitely likes some anime. Aw, oh my gosh, hola! That's very kind of you guys. I appreciate all of the support that you guys give, and I love all of you guys. Story time! I love you back. Like... 15 gay. I'm a I rank general. Gavin is actually Leo's nephew, so he would come up here uh, during the holidays or during the summer and alternate being babysat between me and Leo's mom, grandma. <laughs> Ooh, that's a really good question. Um, I, I, I believe Joan had a vision in their mind for almost kind of like this early 20th century or late 19th century kind of Jack the Ripper vibe. Don't apologize for being yourself. If people have an issue, that's their issue that they have to work through. Do not apologize for being yourself. Wait, there's such thing as a math gay? 
I am absolutely that. I'm a. Uh, I feel like I'm just going to be naming traits about myself, but I'm a trivia gay, a driving gay, apparently a math gay, a Disney gay, <laughs> and a theater gay. Dude, th this stuff is really sweet. <laughs> that was really sweet. Um, trust me, I feel the same way about all of you, honestly. Uh, I. Went to PetSmart today. I didn't get an animal, but like, I'm thinking about it, and I, this question is like, hmm. Owl House. Owl House, Owl House. I just tried it, and I immediately got hooked. <laughs> Infinity Train's also a really good one. DuckTales is amazing, and I'm getting ready to start Tangled, the animated series, so. They are tiny little squishy precious babies. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't think it's like a big deal. I, I hope that we would get to the point where we could just be like, hey, what are your pronouns? And then they would tell you. And then you just, you know, carry on with the rest of the conversation. This is really precious. And it, of course, came from Nash, who is a poet. He publishes a lot of wonderful, wonderful poems on Twitter. They are amazing. And you, once again, are far too sweet, Nash. This is a pretty broad question, so maybe dream theatrical role would be Sweeney Todd, dream movie role would be anything in the Marvel Universe, uh, really just give me anything in any voice acting role. Egg rolls are also really good. I am the sand guardian. Guardian of the sand. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it was definitely hindered by COVID, uh, as was this uh, Sanders Asides episode that's coming up, um, which is why it's taking longer in the editing stage. It is our... Uh, strategy for circumventing the obstacle and we hope you like it heck yes you are um but honestly actually if you guys have any suggestions for songs that i should include on the playlist let me know um i'd be happy to get some suggestions but yes you will be definitely getting one umbrella academy is really good dragon prince uh she-ra of course um the hollow is really cool um there is a documentary about video games called High Score. That was really fun. Oh, uh, we're all equally gay, okay? <laughs> it's a sexuality, not a personality trait. I'm just kidding, it's me! Uh, maybe putting my chemical engineering degree to some use. <laughs> uh, I went to school for five years for that one. I'm glad. I I don't know what I'm doing to do that, but the feeling is absolutely mutual. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, sure. Falsehood. Is that good? Is that... I don't... I'm not... I don't want to steal his bit. Uh, I would probably say it's either Patton or Roman, because Patton can be definitely me all the time, just really enthusiastic about things and finding things cute, but Roman... Roman's sensitivity? Oh, that's me. I actually worked as a page in a library. Uh, pages basically just kind of like shelf books, um, check books out. It's one of the coolest, just chillest jobs I've ever had. One of my favorites. Uh, my dad always had a lovely dad joke for it. You're working as a page. When do you get promoted to a book? I usually say five foot ten, but I think I'm trying to be more realistic with myself. And I'm probably five foot nine and a half. I'm holding on to that half a foot for all dear life. This is very sweet. Uh, I <laughs> uh, I use Curology. They're very nice. Um, just different kinds of lotions, I guess. <coughs> Falsehood! I do not. Uh, dating is kind of difficult right now amidst COVID, you know. Kind of tough love in the time of Corona. Um, but, you know, options open. I'm sure I've answered this somewhere, but it was it was in high school. I might have been 15 or 16. It was with a girl. And all I can remember is just hitting teeth a lot. <laughs> all right, I'm getting ready to end the Q&A. So I guess, you know, if you've made it this far, you've earned this um, super vague answer. Um, it includes a side that was not in the last episode. And that is it for this evening. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I know it's like some of you are still over in Europe watching, and it's like four in the morning, and I need to go to bed. So thank you all so much for your questions. I gotta do this more often because I really enjoy it. Love you guys, gals and non-binary pals. Peace out.